Hey everybody, Shinigo here, and I'm finally doing Let's Play Kim Possible 3. Oh yes I am. I'm using the Game Boy Player this time because all my attempts on the using the lap my laptop have failed miserably. So, yeah. Game Boy Player it is. Um, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be uploading one part of this, one part of Lights Kid. One day I will do a Let's Play Lights Kid and then uh, this. But I've already done most of my recordings. I've done, in fact, I've done all the recordings for Lights Kid. I'm just going to be recording that. Storyline is pretty throwaway. Apparently, none of the possible pictures have been stolen. And Unlike the last game, there are very few references to the actual show, the show's episodes itself. I think there's like about two or three altogether. And I, li I like the cutscenes as a preference to the cutscenes from Kim Possible 2, the ugly faces. But we don't see Kim's bow in this, so yeah, I don't care. And here's Blue Boy Tangles' his plan. Which I believe is a reference to the episode where he got to try to mind control old people. Which, well, the episode's name escapes me now. It only works on monkeys. Fantastic! Yeah, I got myself a bit of a cold. I may actually have flu, but yeah, most of that's kind of past. And this part is going to be mostly storyline. Mostly cutscenes, mostly storyline. Yeah, let's be honest, it's going to suck. Monkey hat. And guess who they're going to blame straight away for this? Monkey fist, especially when we've just seen what Trekker's plan is. And why would we go to Global Justice? We don't need them. They'll suck it and they lay and run your ears in the way. Global Justice. And when we get there, guess what? More cutscenes. Ah. That's the director, you suck, and we'll do sucks even more. Say, Pod Jeff, right. Okay, let's get this started. Kim is pretty much the same way she did in Kim Possible 2. Real changes the uh, attack sprites, so and that's pretty much it. And if we press select, we get control run, who's completely utterly useless. He, for the most part, will be our button. <coughs> More cutscenes, fantastic. Three minutes thirty, and we've done nothing but cutscenes. Nice thing about recording on the GameCube, I actually have to record for the DVD player, and I actually have a timer on that. Therefore, we won't be going over the 11 minute limit. So basically the pictures that have got stolen have chips in them that you can track. And we have a map in the communicator, I'll be showing that off. Completely useless but I'll show it off anyway. And I think this is a second reference to a episode. The run communicator, I think that came from a six in time. Yes, you didn't think of that because the events of that episode, those episodes, do not exist anymore. Blue locates rocks? What the hell are blue locates rocks? Oh well, I guess we'll be finding out. As soon as we have more cutscenes. We can never have enough cutscenes. Yeah, we're on to you. Really, really stupid, doesn't it? Apologies for me. Yeah. I 
this one's, if I wasn't contractually obligated to let's play this, I'd just blitz through all these cutscenes and just keep pressing start every time one happens. Basically, we need to get to a random point, but we need to find our first gadget for each character. And so, let's start. I'll start showing off the map. Basically, it shows you where both characters are, where the run is, where the objective is, and all the save points. As you can see, this is a big area. Uh, this is probably going to take more than about five or six parts to get through. I still sound like I have a cold. But we'll get on with it. Those blue things, they're the location grubs that the logistics were talking about. Small ones are worth one, big ones worth 100. And because there's no lives in this game, when you get the, uh, when you cross over a thousand, you actually get an extra piece of life bar. Now we'll be, you'll notice that when I'll be doing this, there's going to be areas that butt monkey. Uh, I'm going to be leveling up Kim first and then I'll start leveling up Ron. I will try and level up Kim more than I will level up Ron because I'll be using her for most boss battles. And here's how we get to use Rufus. Basically, all his point is is to get through narrow spaces and drop right those wheels over there. <coughs> That's all he'll be doing. We just need to get his fat ass over there. Oh yeah, unlike the, first, the second game, if you go past the health icon, you can't pick it up if you got a full energy. It's rather than that when you're kind of getting hit by monkeys. Yeah. 